Welcome back to Design 101. This time we will talk about text decoration. We start with the basics of signs. The first question many have is what sign side is front and which is back. For that I place an engineer table to show the orientation. As you can see, the side that is looking towards us is the back side. With that in mind, it should be easy to configure the signs. Let's talk about the three main ways of designing your signs. The first one would be obvious, the settings on your sign that can be manipulated. The next one is working with color codes. This is the command that you put in front of your text where you can control the colors with a hex code. These you can get over the link in the description. The last one is to use icons which are part of the font in this game. One of the ways you can access them will be discussed later in the video. The sign settings allow you to change the color of the whole sign and add arrows for directions. The color codes allow to change the color of the text while still having another color on the sign itself. Now let's see how you can easily access the icons. The first thing you want to do is go to your Steam app folder, which is normally in your program x86 folder. There you're going to look for Interstellar Rift. After that, look for the content folder. In there, there should be a font folder. And there you will find the basic X font, which you want to install. After you have done that, press the Windows button and R at the same time and type in Charmap. This brings up a catalog with all characters of a font. Now you want to look for the Basica Unicode font in the selector. After this, you want to scroll down just a bit to find the icons in this game, which you can just copy and paste into the game. Those icons will be uncolored, but it can be easily colored with the color codes or just the sign settings. Now let's look at an example ship where you can use those features. First we are going to build four rooms, an arrival room, a hallway, an ammunition storage and normal cargo. We can use color codes to color the names of the room for easy differentiation. Now that we have done that, let's hop into single player and spawn it in. I find it the easiest to just name the signs in-game. This is done by just clicking on the sign. I start by adding ammunition icons to the ammo loader so that I can separate them. For coloring, I just use the sign settings. Now we're gonna add colored way signs so that our guests have it easy to find their way. Here I just color the room names in the same way as we did in the editor. Hopefully this tutorial gave you some ideas and helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like and a sub. This was Design101, I'm Def Raven, and I will see you next time.